Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. I've just noticed this is slightly on the wonk. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> um, it's Friday and it's chucking it down my room. So what a delightful Friday it is. It's about nine o'clock and I need to go and just put the geese out because they're not out yet. And I went into Kenzie's room to talk to him and they heard my voice and started squawking from the other end of the garden. Um, just fed the cat. I'm about to feed the dogs. Um, I've been doing a little bit of editing. I still need to do some more editing. I need to go and feed the sheep at some point. There's no huge rush because they're in a field of lush grass. So it means that we can be a little bit slower in the mornings at the moment because they have food at their disposal. But we just like to throw them in one of their footballs with nut their sheep nuts in and then they just chase it around. But yeah, I'm gonna put kettle on and go and do those jobs. And I need to write a list of things I need to do to get ready for going away this evening. Kenzie is putting the dogs in their beds and then we are going to quickly zoom off to go and do the little things we need to do on the list like pop to Asda, get some fuel. Is he not cooperating, Kenzie? No. No, he's being a delinquent. Mm. He's so cute though. Oh. <laughs> right, go put him to, to bed for two minutes. He'll complain about it because he always does. Timmy's gone in, no trouble, because he always does. Um, anyway, yeah, we're going to go and do these things. We're going to go feed the lizard. We're going to go and get some fuel, grab some food for Kenzie for while we're away and also get some food for um, us to take like crisps and nibbles and breakfasty bits and stuff and tea bags and all. milk, that kind of thing. Um, and then I'll come back and then I've got things to do like cleaning out the geese. I was going to do their waters and everything, but unless it clears up dramatically, I might have to get Kenzie to do that tomorrow because it's really wet and horrible out there. So that might be a tomorrow job for Kenzie, but we'll see how things go. Before we do any of that, though, I do need to run off and quickly feed the sheep. Nice, clean rainbow shoes because I put them through the wash. It's disgusting up here. The encouraging thing to see, though, well, I'm wearing white, which is ridiculous, in the rain and when I'm coming to feed sheep. Anyway, all the sheep are currently hiding in... In their little teepee. That is the best field shelter any sheep could ever want. Hi! And there is Autumn having a good old munch in the doorway saying, No, I don't think so, Pip. I am not coming out. Not coming out? No, I don't think so. Pampered sheep. Thinking about it. Right, where is their football? Because I need to feed them with their football. Can't see it. Yep, one of the balls was already waiting for me. So, I'm going to go and lob it in the field and then they can have it if they want it. about it everyone okay you hiding yeah we're all hiding from the rain right I'm going on holiday guys I'm gonna miss you you'll be well looked after though I'll see you on Wednesday. Sheep are fed. Note has been left for Linda, who is looking after them for us. Um, and now I'm at my friend's. And I'm about to deal with the whole bug situation for the lizard. I've just made Roxy come out. Was not keen on the idea, but I was like, no, come on. Most of your food from last time was still running around, so I think you can come out and eat something, can't you? Are you going to get it? No, we'll have that one. That was sneaky. I can't see you, but I'm going to suddenly sneak up on you when you think I'm looking elsewhere and eat you. And the fishes have been fed. A little bit more food fell in than I had hoped. But hopefully that will last them a couple of days anyway, until they come back off their holiday. That job's done. We've now arrived at Asda and we're going to go and grab a few bits to see us through over the next week. 
what have Asda got? They've got hand trowels, half price. Uh, well, they're now a pound each. They've got compasses, if you need a compass. Oh, we need some of these for, we need guy ropes for the tent uh, that the sheep are staying in. And we need, uh, we need big tent pegs. Oh, hold on, I'm coming round. They've got tents as well. I don't know how much the tents now are. Picnic blankets. Seven. Camping mugs. Good price. What does that one do? Oh, what's USB it for? A to USB B. I assume it's like. Is it computery stuff? Oh, uh, printers and scanners. Oh, right, okay. What we got here? Briefs. Shoes. Plastic snakes. What's that? Disney stores. Oh, oh, Brands. they would be good for presents. Eight fifty down to four twenty-five. If this was twenty, this was twenty-nine pound fourteen fifty. It comes with a magnetic lock you attach them to. With a magnetic lock. Ideally, I would like them on the wall. We can attach this to the wall. What, possibly. Attach the block to the wall. Do you think? Maybe. Okay, I don't really have any money at the moment, that's the problem for that sort of thing. That's going to be gone though, isn't it? Probably, yeah. Yeah. Basically half price. It is half price, isn't it? We've got loads of these mini balls for kids. You know, the not knowing what they are balls, LOL balls and things, all half price. Oh, oh look, a USB multi port. That's £15, was 25 Barbecues. Kettles. Oh, fast boil kettle. Uh, foot spars. Uh, twirly ribbons. or oh, sensory ribbons. How much are those now? They're now 125 Sunshine orange. Oh, it's baby food. Baby dummies. Screen protectors. We don't do iPhones. If anybody does, they're 25p. Not the right Epson for me. Beard oil. Brendan could do with some beard oil. Maybe I'll get that as an early Christmas present and then I can take it out of its box because the box looks a bit squished. I'm going to get two. I am going to get you some grapes because they're two for oh. two pound. Yeah, what do you want in the way of fruit? I will get you a proper, oh yeah, get some of those and I'll get you a watermelon you can cut up. Okay, what's the date on that one? Okay, chuck that one in then. A couple of days on that. There's chicken bacon Caesar. Do you like those ones? I've already got my last one, I think. Yeah, it's a sort of a garlicky one, that is. Yeah, that one has got a longer date on it. Yeah. I'll, I'll replace that with one. Why don't you have both? Uh, it wasn't the one I thought it was. Oh, it was right. You thought it was that one? Yeah. Do you want two of those? Yeah, that's okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. You don't want the bacon and chicken? That is bacon and chicken. No, that isn't. That's Caesar salad. Oh, I don't want the bacon and chicken. That is bacon and chicken. No, that isn't. That's Caesar salad. Oh, it is bacon, but that's Caesar. And that one is... No, I'll keep that one. Yeah? I'm going to get a fruit platter to take away. Do you want any of these cheese things? Can, oh, the no, dates. No, no, I'm going to get take one with me. They're 150, those ones. That's the cheaper though. There's uh, mozzarella and jalapeno burgers are cheaper. So it's going to make burgers, is it? So you want burgers, yeah? Yes. Two for five pounds, so mozzarella and jalapeno. Quite nice. Okay, and you can have another thing from this that's on the two for five as well. But are they all burgers? Yeah. Uh, I get a quarter pound if I just to play more. Okay. Getting some of these. They are one pound ten each, or two for two pound. Which do you prefer? It's in potato salad. Cheaper, and you get more out of it. I think. You want that one? It's two hundred seventy-five grams. That's my. Okay, age. you can get one of those if you want. I've just seen these. The sugars on these are much lower. So they're five grams, 
on those than the skinny brand, which is seven. It's mixed up with these as well. <laughs> so what, these are meant to be healthier, are they? Yeah, they're like or is... six ingredients in them. Yeah, only four ingredients. Well, it looks like there's more than four ingredients there. Six ingredients, sorry. There's only six oh no, that's nutrition, isn't it? Um, dark chocolate, sugar, See, this says only four ingredients on there. Six ingredients. Four. Oh, this one's got six. Yeah. So, what do you fancy? You want to try one? Yeah, try one. Um, yeah. With puffed rice. I'll try the crunchy. Grass fed that milk. Still yeah. In, I would just. Yeah. Well, why don't well, you have one of those and we'll get one of the originals and we'll try yeah. one each. We'll share it. to show you this brush I mentioned yesterday that I bought for £10. Look, it's got, do they call it ergonomic? It moves, I'm trying to do this one-handed. Anyway, this, this moves to all different angles so you can get under things. It also, it's fully washer, washable. It's made by a company called Spontex. Now, it's for all surfaces apparently, sweeps your heart's content, but I think it really comes into its own when you brush carpet, to be honest with you. So when you're brushing carpet, all the cat and dog hair comes up really quickly. So it's got all my dead flies up, which is good, and then you just empty it and actually the broom stands in that when you're not using it. It's like a little stand for it. So I'm gonna go and empty that in the bin. There you go, that is brushing the carpet. Even though we hoover every day, this brush is picking up all that stuff from inside the floor. I'm gonna brush it onto here and then you can see it. All of that, put that in the bin. And then you just wash that in the bath or under the sink. Just put that in there and I can rinse that off. Yeah, and there you go, you can just sweep it up into there. And because it's got like a silicony rubbery edge on it, it all goes in. Get rid of that and then this can be rinsed as well. I'm gonna go and curl up with my puppies for a little bit and maybe have a nap. Well, that's us pretty much packed. And that's all Timmy's stuff in there. And I'm gonna go and bring the van round so we can fill it up. Kenzie is walking the dogs. Um, and then we will head off.